dia, bom dia a todos. Um, good morning, everybody. Um, eu, eu vou tentar fazer um, uma sessão de abertura, um opening remarks muito rápido, naquela versão portuguesa do Bom, Bonito e Barato, e, e, para dar depois também seguimento um, aos painéis que nós temos. E queria um, recuperar algumas das coisas que nós dissemos um, anteontem no Summer Meeting, ontem no primeiro dia do, do Euro-África e hoje também, e um, se, se pudesse resumir numa só palavra um, o que acho que nós temos pela frente, eu acho que ninguém, ninguém ficaria incomodado se, de, se disséssemos foco, não é? foco, precisamos de foco. Nós temos muita, muita análise, muito diagnóstico, e depois temos mais análise, e depois temos mais diagnóstico. Uh, muita análise, dizem que normalmente gera parálise, e portanto uh, eu acho que nós temos mesmo é que pensar uh, na lista, the list. We need to think about the list, ok? So I don't know what um, have we prepared for today in terms of our homework, in terms of our, our list of priorities. Um, but the main thing for me, and I, I think for the team, is that we, um, um, we will deliver a list with a summary of um, um, projects, opportunities, needs, requests uh, from each panel. I think that we all agree with that, because uh, we have uh, uh, important projects uh, in infrastructures, um, we have uh, lots of projects in um, energy, um, agriculture, water, etc., etc., uh, between Africa and Europe. But I think that we need to make the list. Um, and I would say even that um, uh, for the companies, um, for the actors that they already know what are the projects they want to apply, or the tenders they want to apply, it's important to understand and to see if, from the Diaspora Council, if we can make something in order to, to accelerate that. So, again, putting focus, uh, we have no other interest than accelerate the, 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 the processes and accelerate the impact. Um, so uh, I think that uh, um, if we have the, pro the, the projects, if the projects are identified, then we need to know um, what is uh, still missed to, to, to deliver those projects. Uh, sometimes we have the projects, we do not have the funds, we do not have the money. Sometimes we have the money, we do not have the projects, or we do not have both things. Now sounds like that between Africa and Europe, we have a certain number, a set of very important projects, major, big projects. Sounds like that we have um, possibilities or the potential to fund all of these, these projects. Uh, so we need to, uh, to make the list, okay? We need to make the list and we need to see and to understand if there are some possibility for us to help, to accelerate, to boost, okay, the execution of all of these projects. I'm talking about projects that are related with infrastructures, but I'm also talking about projects that are linked with education, with health, um, so with even art or culture. It does not matter. I think that the important thing for us is to identify the, um, these projects. In the meeting we had two days ago, in the summer meeting of Diaspora, we have we've already identified and we are working uh, with several projects. One is about the Portuguese language all over the world, and this is the project um, Ponto PT, Ponto PT. And uh, with this project, it's a, it's a very I mean it's a, it's even it's even less than a startup. It's, it's an idea, it's a project, it's already ongoing. But I think that we need to um, put this. Um, um, in process in all of these countries. Um, then we have something which I um, think is of great value. It's the, um, the link and um, the, um, the agreements we have with the Conselho das Comunidades and uh, with the Portuguese network, with Rede Global, the Global Portuguese Network. And why? Because I think that we need to put 
all the pieces together. I, I, I don't think this is, this is, a, this is a, a good idea to have different leagues, okay? So this is, should not be the league of Diaspora Council, um, the Premier League of Diaspora Council, then you have the other association, then you have the other association. No, no, I think that we need to put in, the, in a coordinated manner, we need to put all the pieces together because we are a very small country yet. So I think that if we put all the things together, we will make us stronger. So um, this is, this is a, 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 another project. Then there are the regional offices, we see, which is something that fits properly with, uh, with the mandate and with the request that we, uh, we've got from the, um, from the presidents of the Republic and also from the Minister of Foreign Affairs. And the idea with the, these regional offices is to have uh, focal points in the regions and in the countries in order to be there uh, to, to explore um, in, the, in the best way possible the potential that we can see in those regions or those countries. Um, of course, these aligned with the strategy, um, of course, these with endorsement of advisory board uh, in, the, in the right way. That's the way you, we want to work. So I think that um, at the end of this Euro-Africa Forum, we will have the list, okay? And we will have the list and we will have the, um, the commitment and the engagement to work in this list and to, um, to, um, to assume that uh, in, uh, in, uh, in a couple of months or from here to the end of the year, we should report to all of you uh, in, our, in our web, in our, in our network, we should report uh, what is the status uh, of all of these projects. So I think this is my commitment, is the commitment of the executive committee, is also the, commit the commitment of the advisory board. So I expect that we will have uh, the rest of a very profitable uh, journey today. Thank you very much.